Hey everyone, I want to do a video on this cup that I'm obsessed with. Um, I've been seeing it around on just pictures on Pinterest and whatnot and I wanted to try, try it myself. Um, I did one, um, you just, uh, what I did was I just spray painted different colors. So I did hot pink and purple and blue on here and then I covered it with an opal like iridescent looking glitter. Um, this one is almost finished. It needs a few more coats. I'm still trying to decide on a decal for it. Um, so I'm going to do one, um, another one I'm going to show you. I've already spray painted it, but I'm going to do, obviously you can kind of tell it's beach theme. So um, I'm hoping it works out. Oh, it looks really pretty. Um, I just did uh, spray paint gold, white, a light blue, a turquoise blue, and then a dark blue. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to apply my opal glitter. Sometimes people ask, how do you apply your chunky glitter and get it so flat? Um, because with the bright tone from Crystal Lac, um, I can usually get it covered in about six layers. So this right here is probably only like four or five layers on top of my chunky glitter. And it's already pretty much smooth. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. And um, we'll go from there. And then we'll add my add the glitter so I'm in my guest bedroom because my craft room is still like under construction actually the construction part is done um, but the I have to paint it so I'm in my guest bedroom so I'm just gonna add the bright tones to here and normally whenever I add when I'm doing a glitter layer I will typically put my uh, bright tone on a little bit thicker than I normally would um, it allows me to have a little extra time applying the glitter you don't want it on there so thick that it's going to drip but you want it on there thick enough that it's not going to dry before you finish applying your glitter um, I probably will not apply glitter to the bottom just because just because I'm probably gonna be lazy and not do it. <laughs> so I will show I am going to put bright on the bottom of the cup anyways just to help get that initial seal. And as you can tell, I didn't really care too much about where my spray paint went. I just sprayed around and um I didn't care too much about where it landed because I know I was gonna cover it with the with the glitter anyways. Okay, so now where's my glitter? Here it is. This is um, Blossom from Glitter Craze. And I'm just going to start applying the glitter. With um, chunky glitter, I don't dump it on. I sprinkle it on like this. Um, chunky glitter can be hard to cover, so if you sprinkle it on, you avoid the chunky, chunky pieces layering on top of each other. So I just sprinkle it on lightly like this. And my arm starts to get tired, <laughs> or my finger starts getting tired from tapping it, so. Ooh. The opal tends to take on the color, um, I've noticed, of whatever color paint you have on the cup, which I think is why I love this so much because in the bottle this, this has like a pinky pinky color to it on um, the glitter does but once you get it on your cup you don't really see a whole lot of pink okay so I'm gonna get the edges done pretty good so there's not a, an awful 
line from glitter to no glitter. I'm just gonna get the edges done here. Good to good. All right, be sure to always have a piece of paper ready so that we can cut your glitter and put it back in the bottle. All right, so I'm gonna let that spin for a minute. And I'm gonna tap it. So excess falls off. I'm gonna pour it back into my container if I can see. Okay, and normally I would let this spin for five to ten minutes before I start tapping it down because you can probably see some of the glitter sticking up. Um, and I like to wait for the BT to dry a little bit so it's kind of tacky. But I'm just going to show you basically, I just kind of keep my finger in one spot and I tap it all the way around. And so it will fall off, so it will stick to your finger. That's okay. If it's falling off or sticking to you, it's because it wouldn't have cooperated in the first place. So if it wants to go, it can go. And then I just move up. I just go around the same, same spot. And then I move my finger up. Just so I can make sure I've gotten the entire cup and don't miss any spots. And uh, you may not get them all to lay down on the first the first try, but that's okay. You'll be able to do this again, like I said, in like five ten minutes. So, see so where's there's that. I think it looks really pretty.